The Tugu Negara was one of several Merdeka buildings announced by the Yang Dipertuan Agung in 1963 as symbols of Malaysia's new independence and nationhood. Three years after the end of World War II, Malaya had to turn its attention to fighting the Malayan Communist Party. At the end of this period of hardship, a decision was made to build a Tugu Negara. Initially, the monument was not designed with human images, as it is forbidden in Islam, but a visit to the USA changed the Tunku's thinking. In 1960, the Tunku saw the Iwo Jima Memorial and immediately contacted its sculptor, Felix de Weldon, to help the Wilden. Tunku arranged 24 soldiers and policemen of various races to pose for a photo shoot in jungle uniforms. The Tugu Nagara shows a leader holding the national flag. Flanking his side are two soldiers ready to defend the nation. In the center is a man aiding a wounded soldier. On the ground are two figures representing the vanquished forces of evil. The face of the central figure is of the Tunku. At the back of the site stands the Cenotaph monument that commemorates World War I. The Tugu Negara was unveiled on Tunku's 63rd birthday in 1966.